Go ahead and read that again. I will be a 21-year-old student in October and have much interest in Japanese culture, specifically about Japanese entertainment commonly referred to as otaku culture. The first time that I had contact with Japanese culture was when I was a kindergarten. I'm currently watching Japanese animations or anime via the television channel called Tunibus. Okay, pause. Okay. All right, now this is where you lost me, right? This is where you lost me. I was, I was interested in your first two sentences, right? But then once I started reading this, I was like, ah, uh, getting a little bit off topic, you know? This part right here, I, I know you're trying to explain why you like Japan and why animations are cool and like all of that stuff, but we just, we need some more substance, right? We need a little it's bit more substance. to eliminate the sentences from there. Yeah, I know. You know, and this statement of purpose is just where we, we're trying to talk about your life a little bit, you know? So these things here, I, I don't want you to copy my words. I will I will let you have like a few sentences, right? a few sentences here and there. But let's just see this kind of brainstorming real fast. All right, so for me personally, this is a pretty good metaphor. Um, it's It could be cliche. Who knows? We'll see, right? But like this next part here... This is where we extend the metaphor, right? Extend the metaphor and compare you to the other trees. And then we have this part here, which is kind of nice to explain your background, you know? Um, and, and uh, you know, kind of dancing around the whole high school situation, right? Then we have throughout my studies, right? And then this is the stuff that I've been really trying to teach you, right? Um, and uh, you have to take charge of your life and prepare for the myriad of university choices ahead of you. Thai, English, and Japanese. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, it's out, it makes you sound pretty awesome, but I mean, I know... Chinese. Very Chinese. Oh, you got, we got Chinese too. Fuck. Okay, you are a talented dude. Okay, all right. Chinese and Japanese in my journeys to Southeast Asia with my father, who was diligently working in e-commerce. All right. We can expand on this later, all right? Uh, yes, we can expand on this later because let's say that we focus on your love of languages, and then you're going to Japan right now to work on your Japanese because it's last in this order of four, right? So let's uh, let's go ahead and rephrase this stuff here a little bit. Uh, let's put Thai at the end because that's the worst, yeah. right? And then your English is yeah. best. No, your Korean's best. English is second. Uh, next one is Japanese or Chinese? Japanese. Japanese. Okay, and then but, after but, that, you know, it's a bit hard to determine because. My speaking, listening is Japanese better, but my writing and reading is Chinese better. Right, so it's different. Um, and then you're going to have to write that detail here. Let me brainstorm that, okay. Uh, for speaking and listening, Japanese is better. Speaking. For writing and reading, Chinese is better. See, these are good details, dude. Uh, Japanese versus reading and writing in Chinese. Okay, uh, yeah, see, this is good brainstorming stuff for you. You know, like, I want to write all of this stuff for you, dude. Trust me, I do. Uh, this is where this is where this part kind of sucks. Um, but we have, this is okay-ish. Depends on how we develop it. So here's what I was thinking, okay? I love languages. Languages. Uh, I don't like working too hard or bullshit or fake people. Uh, this is me now. Um, <laughs> uh, let me see here. This is, I hope to improve my Japanese now, Japanese now. Um, we have not sure where the world will take me. Uh, not sure about translation tech. Um, but, 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 um, but I hope and know that Speaking four languages will enable me to go almost wherever I want in this world. If it, if it includes uh, Korean language, and it's five languages. Correct. All right. Uh, let me see. Wherever. Okay. Four, five, including Korean. Uh, that speaking four languages, five, including Korean. Languages will enable me to go almost every, whenever I want in this world. Uh, everywhere, I, everywhere in Southeast Asia. Because I also I'm able to speak a little bit of Malaysian too. Ah, Malaysian. 
Because I have been there for two years. Speak a little Malaysian. Malaysian. Uh, I'm a polyglot. Of course, Pahalayu. I'm a polyglot. Um, okay, and a polyglot is a person who can't speak. Yeah, see, so you're trying to remember your Malaysian right now. See, that's, so, see, that's pretty fucking awesome. Okay, okay, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is Malaysian's national anthem. Yeah, see, that's, that's the thing I like about you, man. Um, okay, I got to stop this recording real quick and then finish up the lesson and talk to you about some other stuff. But uh, this right here is basically an example of how we can improve your writing, okay? So this is where you have this opening sentence, uh, opening paragraph. I don't want you to copy this. Uh, you can use it for inspiration. We have this, we have... Okay, don't copy, okay. Okay, all right, and then we have all of this brainstorming here, right? And I think this should be like the kogi, the meat, the meat of your essay, the meat of your SOP. Like the Japan thing is like whatever. And draft one, I read it before, and I still don't remember it. So, like, you, you got to have something that makes the person at least remember your writing. You know what I'm saying? And okay. Like, it shows that you're a special, not, not necessarily a special person, I guess, but just, like, different, unique. I mean, I'll tell you, in my opinion, man, that this is, like, pretty freaking cool. Okay? All right. Uh, I'm going to end this, and I got to turn off this recording.